If you want to join me on a photo adventure into the Smoky Mountains on a wet, rainy day, then stay tuned. This video is for you. In a previous video, I had asked if you'd want to join me on some photo adventures, and many of you had replied, sure, why not? It could be some fun. Now, the last adventure I went on that I videoed was a trip to West Virginia, and I took pictures of waterfalls and different things out there. But at that time, I did not have my neutral density filter, and I decided to take a very last-minute trip down here into the Smoky Mountains. Now, what's funny is that there was a high wind warning, so they shut down a lot of roads and trails, but they just opened them. Now, it's been raining heavy all through the night, and so I imagine that the trails are going to be wet and muddy, and it's cloudy outside right now. But today, I have with me the Nikon D3400, and I decided to use the 18-200 to zoom lens. Now, the other thing I'm going to bring with me is going to be my neutral density variable filter, which I have on here right now. I can post a link as to where you can get this below. I've done some videos on it in the past, and it's just really, really good to use a neutral density filter when you're shooting uh, waterfalls or water flows, maybe in some rapid creeks during the daylight, because you can get that nice, smooth, creamy water um, over rocks, and it's just really nice to have that neutral density filter. So that's the goal here, and with all that said, let's just go ahead, jump right in, and have some fun. I decided to take a break. If you can see behind me, you'll see the steps ascending up. Now where I am and, and where I'm trying to go is to Chimney Tops. And this is a roughly two mile ascent. It's a lot, uh, it's a lot more than what I had thought, so I had taken off my coat and my sweatshirt. So uh, this should give us an opportunity to get some great shots though. I finally made it to the top of Chimney Top, and behind me is the Smoky Mountains. Now, I put my coat back on because it's definitely colder up here in this elevation. Now, again, I just have the 18-200 to 200 zoom lens on here, but I did take off the variable neutral density filter because I really don't need to slow the shutter down at all. So I'm just going to take a few shots of this beautiful landscape and see what I get. Sometimes you need to go that extra mile to get the shot that you're really looking for. And in this case, it happens to be right up there. Now, I had to make my way through a treacherous pass to get here, but I'm thinking it's going to be worth it. So let's go see what it's all about.
I made it back from the Smokies, and I actually created a closing video when I was down there. However, when I returned back and I took a closer look at all those images, and I started to post-process, I wanted to add some additional commentary. Now, typically when I post-process, I don't do a whole lot to those images. However, in this case, when I climbed to the top of that particular mountain, and I saw the views, and I was shooting in RAW, which means that I was able to take full advantage of what this sensor could capture, and I knew that in post-processing, I wanted to apply additional creativity to some of those images. Now, there is no one right answer to how much or how little you may want to leverage in post-processing. It's really up to the photographer and the end result that you might desire. Now, in this particular case, I really wanted to bring some of those images to life. I wanted to warm them up and apply some additional lighting and color effects and if you're interested in knowing how I did that to some of those images, just post a comment below and maybe I'll create a video on that. Now I have a few videos on Lightroom already, so check the description. I'll post links to those as well. Lightroom is just really a lot of fun. I know many of you have asked me, hey, is there an alternative to Lightroom? And I'm researching that now. I have in the past used a product, which is free, called Raw Therapy. It's actually pretty decent. There's a lot of features in there. Um, another product is called Dark Table. I think it works well. And I may do a video on each one of those. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, it, there's really just a learning curve there. and I prefer Lightroom, but again, those other two are free. So it's just something to consider if you don't have Lightroom and you're thinking about post-processing. Now, I also want to talk briefly about this lens. Now, I mentioned this is the Nikon 18-200 lens. Now, I really like this lens. It's a good, versatile lens. And the prominent reason I'm using this is because of the... Uh, variable neutral density filter that I have on this. Now this is a 72 millimeter filter and that fits this particular lens. It didn't actually fit the 18 to 55 kit lens that comes with the D3400. Now you can get step rings for that. I just didn't have any with me at the time. Now this lens is relatively heavy and I don't necessarily mind carrying heavy gear. Uh, I always feel that if a shot's worth taking, it's worth taking right. Now that's just my opinion. But when you're hiking around the Smokies, a little bit of extra weight can really add up. Uh, but that's okay. It's just something to think about when you start thinking about your gear and trying to get some of these shots. Well, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you found it kind of fun. And if you did so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. It's called Real World. More often than not, I post videos about photography and technology, but you never know. So until the next video, take care of yourself and be safe.